behind, so please pardon the mess, but today we are gonna be opening up this brand new package. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ronnie. If you're new to this channel, we do a bunch of cool stuff, ride a bunch of different weird skateboards, bikes, and we just have a lot of fun here. And today I'm gonna be testing out this brand new board I just got in the mail. It's, uh, it's, I'm, I'll just show you guys. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and go straight into the unboxing. Uh, 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 uh. The moment you've been waiting for. Ah! Oh, man. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, this is paper. All right, obviously there's gonna be this skateboard. I also got this remote from them. It's green on there, it gives you all that information. Hmm. And it vibrates. Pretty cool. You're also gonna get your standard skate tool. This is the Apsu 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 uh, Ap. I'm gonna call it the Apsu board. This is the Apsu board. Got all this stuff, but where's the charger? No way. Did they send me a board without it? Nope. I'm just a dummy. Charger is in this box. Pretty standard charger. I think I have like. 10 of these now. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the board itself. Now, pretty much every company in China is using this deck, but I gotta say, I'm not mad at that because it's a pretty good deck. Not really sure what they're going for when it comes to logo design. That kind of looks like the Pokemon Ditto. And let's go ahead and take a look underneath. It's a pretty clean design, really simple. Got the battery on this side with the free wheels. And here is the motor side. Now, what sets this board apart is, if you can see that, these are actually belt drives. A lot of the budget boards that you'll find floating around the internet right now use hub motors. These are actually belt motors, which is the same system that Boosted Board uses. And this is actually gonna be my first belt-driven electric skateboard I've ever ridden and tested, so I'm really excited to try it out. The main difference between hubs and belts to me is that with belts, you get way more torque. Starting up is a lot faster, you get a lot more power, which can help with big hills. But with hubs, they're just a lot easier to maintain. You don't have to change out any parts. Eventually, you'll have to change out belts with the belt drives. And you can kick push a hub motor board a lot easier. See how tight that belt is, making that wheel not really spin so freely? <laughs> That's another cool thing about belt boards. They scream. <laughs> All right guys, so let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the specs for this board. First off, right off the bat, that is not very good Photoshop job. But let's not judge a book by its cover. Standard battery, you can get 17 to 19 miles of range. Usually that number is a bit inflated, but we'll go ahead and put that to the test. Ooh, their bigger battery gets up to 30 miles. You get four speed modes with the fastest mode topping out at 25 miles per hour. Maximum climbing angle of 30 degrees. Seven layer maple deck with a layer of bamboo, which is like the same deck that everyone is using. 90 millimeter wheels at an 88 durometer. I think that's pretty good. And an ESC with a controller, double drive, sine waves, smooth ride. I wish I made that up. Anyways, you can find more information on their website. But for now, we're gonna go to charge this board up and then put it to the test. Gotta love that auto turn on feature. So it's actually about the rain, so I'm gonna go ahead and capture what I can now. Right now I have the board set to high plus mode just cause I really wanna capture the amount of torque I get right at takeoff. I wanna remember this moment forever. Three, two, one. Woo! top speed but I think I am this is a lot zippier than a hub motor board that's for sure so not really trying I went 25.3 miles per hour I want to see if I can go any faster than that oh I just love the sound of that that's awesome okay so it's about to rain so before the ground gets too wet to ride I'm just gonna do a speed test let's see if we can go faster than 25 maybe we can go 26 who knows and from zero three two one go oh this road's a little bumpy okay 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 let's go accelerate accelerate keep pushing 
How do I know if I'm topped out? How do I know if I'm topped out? I think that's it. I think that's it. I think that's highest speed. And it feels like it's high speed. <laughs> oh my God, there's water in my eyes. Oh wait, check out these brakes though. I've been braking for like 10 seconds now. And, oh, now we're stopped. The top speed I got on that run, according to the ride app, was 29.4 miles per hour. Holy balls, that is fast. And both apps are telling me 29 miles per hour, so yeah, this is a fast board. You up for a little race? I don't think so. Come on, man. Just, just like a short, like, 100 meters or something. Sure, why not? All right, do we start from now or from a standstill? Right after her. Right after her is when we go. Come on, man. You got to keep up, man. You're making Captain America sad. Fast, man. Yeah? <laughs> you think so? Hey, hey, good job, man. That was fun. That was fun. Yeah. I like that you're riding bikes, man. It's such a beautiful day, right? You got to be outside. Hey, have a good one. Thank you. I don't have a boosted board, but I've ridden a bunch of them, and a couple key differences between this board and a boosted is the fact that, one, you get way more flex on a boosted board. There is some flex to this, actually a decent amount, but I don't really want to flex it too much. The fact that it has this carry-out handle does make it structurally weaker, so it could snap if I try to bounce on it real hard. And secondly, boosted boards don't break. You push forward to go, you pull back, and it stops. When you do it on a boosted board, instead of stopping, you go reverse. Speak of the devil, a boosted board rider literally just passed right by me. He's about half mile down the road. I am faster, maybe I can catch up. I don't see him, I think I lost him. Oh, I should have got up faster, he's pretty far down the road. Well, I'm like a good two miles down the road and I lost him, I can't find him. Darn it, I wanted to race him, oh well. He already knows I'll smoke him anyway. <laughs> oh well, I may have missed the guy on the boosted, but I actually just got a DM on Instagram from a fan who saw me riding and he wants to try out this board. So we're gonna go meet up with him and let him give it a try because I think it's pretty fun. I didn't know like you were based over here and I saw that in like your video, that little thing right there. I literally saw you cruising down, I'm like, what the f So I'm gonna go and let him get his Dude, first electric skateboard awesome. experience. <laughs> Only thing is you need to strap that on because this thing is really fast. Really? Really fast. Alright, you're in the slowest mode possible, but that's okay. You're going to work your way up. Yeah, doing good, man. <laughs> yeah, get it, get it. Watch out for the crack. <laughs> they grow up so fast. I'm trying to like not jump off <laughs> Not happening. Abdullah, it was a pleasure letting you ride. Dude, it was been awesome, dude. <laughs> hey man, you've been bitten by the bug. I know I'll be seeing you out here a lot now. Yeah. <laughs> you ever feel kind of lazy some days? You know, you don't feel like standing up and you sort of just want to sit down and have a seat? I'm kind of feeling like that right now. To be honest, I think I should sit down on my board more often. Hey, how you doing? Oh man, we're going fast! Oh no, 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 no! High speed butt boarding is not a thing you should be doing. Did I race the train? Race the train while I'm on my butt! <laughs> uh, oh, oh, oh. So, after riding the Apsu board for a while, here's what I gotta say. First off, the board is really, really fast. Standing on a piece of wood going 29 miles per hour is a lot scarier than it sounds. But while riding it, I never felt out of control. I didn't get any wobbles and I didn't feel like I was going 29, if that makes any sense. The range I got on this board is kind of amazing. I went 11 plus miles and the board was only at 40% battery. I didn't actually drain it all the way down and that was going full throttle the whole time. So I actually do believe that the range listed on the website is pretty accurate. One thing, and it's a really big thing that I don't like about this board are the brakes. They're not strong at all. It takes forever to come to a complete stop, especially if you're going fast and being able to stop quickly is literally the difference between life or death sometimes. That is my biggest issue with it. If they can fix that, then I think this board would be really 
really, really solid. And not really an issue, but I am concerned a bit about longevity. Right now the website doesn't even have replacement parts for it, so if something were to break down over time, but as of right now, with my experience, for $599, I think the performance that this board gives you is amazing, especially for that price. It might be the best performing board at this price range I've ever tried, ever. And that's saying a lot. Yeah, so I think this board is really good. With a tweaking, it could be much, much better. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this board. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell to be part of the Stoke Squad. Till next time, guys, stay stoked. I'm out. Peace.